I am going on a full zip line at Canopy Adventures in El Valle, and I'm so excited! <laughs> a little nervous. This was Donna and Bill's first time in El Valle, and I think they really enjoyed themselves. This was a trip a long time in the making, and they've had a couple challenging few years. You've done zip lining before? Only on very like kiddo type of zip line, so very easy and and short. So this will be an adventure. All right, and we'll document the whole thing. Yay! <laughs> this is where we're gonna be. For anyone visiting El Valle, and if you're interested in the canopy zip line adventure. I highly recommend it. It was a very professional setup. And of course, I'm sure there's all sorts of insurance waivers that you have to sign. Sign your life away. Zip line for a day. I have to say, Donna's spirit of adventure completely impressed me. I mean, she just got all ready and then before you know it, she was off on the zip line. Here's the zip liner. Good morning. <laughs> Countdown. The little vehicle takes you up on that road toward La Mesa. And apparently they used to have people walk up there before doing the zip line. I think that would be the way that I would be enticed to take the zip line. Cause that's a pretty steep hike up. Will they, will the little truck come back to yeah, yeah. get us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll be down at the bottom, you know? Where are you guys? <laughs> so the Canopy Lodge is here in El Valle. Oh, yeah. And then there's also the Canopy Tower and Canopy Camp. And at the Canopy Tower, they have a live bird feeding camera. You can check that out on YouTube. I just went over to take a look and I didn't see any birds at the feeder, but that would be pretty cool if you are into tropical birds, but can't take a trip to Panama at the moment. Okay, yeah. okay. It's here first. I'm right. going to check the harness again. Yes. The owner of the canopy family is Raul Arias de Para. And he has an incredible history spanning politics to the ecotourism uh, because the original Canopy Lodge was on land that his father owned and he has really fond memories of coming to El Valle as a child and spending summers here. Have fun! I will! Doesn't Donna just epitomize the spirit of adventure? I hope that she motivates and inspires you to do something that's on your bucket list. Whatever it is, start making the plans, take the small steps to do it, and make it happen. I love you. Love you too! So Donna and I met at an Infinite Possibilities conference and she just went on a zip line, but her husband Bill and I are walking back to the little truck to take us back and we'll go see her when she crosses over the waterfall.
So I went on my own because the stairs were a little bit too steep and Bill is getting a knee surgery in a few months and he would not have been able to handle those steep steps. I was a little nervous. I wasn't going to catch her on the zip line and wasn't exactly sure which spot to go. And then I realized, oh, I should go to the waterfall part first. And that's where I stood and hung out and waited and waited. Are you shaking from nerves? No. No? No. <laughs> I am. How are you? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> you want to do it again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How was it stopping a little bit at the waterfall? Oh, oh, he got pictures, so it's beautiful. He got pictures of the waterfall yeah. and me on the landing. Oh. Bucket list, <laughs> check! <laughs> I was having a little bit of FOMO. Like when I, you know, like when I'm here now, I'm like, Maybe I should have done this zip line well, thing. The first one is high, but oh. you're really secure in the harness. You sit back and just feel really secure, and you do hang on. Um, the first one is high, so I wasn't able to look down on the first one. <laughs> I, I looked to the side, it was gorgeous. The second one is fast, but it's shorter. Yeah. And so then the third and fourth are, you know, just regular. They're not too long. Just regular. Just regular. You know, yeah. Just regular <laughs> zip lines. But the fifth is where you get to see the waterfall and yeah. oh my gosh and so if you look right you see the waterfall and if you look left the guide said the best view of the mountains in El Valle oh, and it is wow. gorgeous gorgeous unfortunately I couldn't work my camera with the gloves but what um, yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> I know silly me right <laughs> so now we're gonna go to the waterfall and see it up close yes <laughs> All right, I'm going to interview my friend Donna, who is in Panama. She's the one who went zip lining through the jungle in El Valle. So we're going to chat with her and see how her trip to Panama has been so far with her husband. Okay, so you want to say hi to my subscribers and uh, tell us about this uh, trip to Panama. All right. Well, Hello to everyone who follows Patty. She's an amazing person and I love, I love her online uh, videos and reports. So my name is Donna Davis. I am here with my husband, Bill, and this is our first trip to Panama. And we were planning this for months and months and it has really been a wonderful experience for us. We initially went down, we thought we wanted uh, to be by the beach, and so we originally made um, a reservation at a condo on the beach and got that experience. And this is totally different. We're from Tucson, Arizona. Forgot to tell you that, that we're from Tucson, Arizona. So we are used to heat. 
we're not used to humidity. <laughs> and I'm originally from the Midwest, so I thought, okay, humidity. <clears throat> well, <laughs> this is a different level of humidity. And so we were um, on, on the beach, and of course the ocean is wonderful. Um, but the humidity is really, really high. And we've learned a lot of things along, uh, along in this short trip here. And we didn't have a very much breeze through the condo. So that was, that was very interesting. But we enjoyed ourselves walking along the beach and got to experience uh, the, the ocean. So that was, that was wonderful. We also wanted to experience what it would be like to be near the beach, but not right on the beach. And so we rented a small little apartment um, a few blocks off the beach. And that was, that was different as well. That we just felt too enclosed. It wasn't open and it just really felt like, okay, we've got to be out. Um, we got to experience a downpour. We weren't out in it, but the rain um, actually is just, it, it's really beautiful here. I mean, even though it was really raining the other night. Um, but my husband was drenching in sweat. I mean, he's just not used to humidity and he works out in the heat. But the humidity is, is high. I mean, we're in the jungle. So I contacted Patty, who we were going to stay in her casita, but we upped it up a day and got here a day early. And this is just so magical. I'm her home and the casita. You can tell a woman designed this and everything that we needed um, is there. And it has just been so wonderful. I mean, just seeing her environment and what she's created. El Valle is different than, than the, the coast, which uh, obviously everybody does know, but it is, it's just different because it is a little bit cooler. There's still humidity here, but it's, it's cooler, but this it has a little community, which we didn't really experience. Now we are with Patty, we're with our, my friend, and so she knows everybody, but you can just feel the sense of community here mm -hmm. and just, this little um, community is just, has so many different little shops and restaurants, but it's just the feeling here is totally different than on the coast. So we haven't decided yet exactly where we'll land. We are planning to move um, next year. M my husband has some medical issues that he needs taken care of beforehand. So we had a few things that need to get taken care of in the States before we head, head to Panama. But this has really given us a wonderful experience of the different areas. And I'm really glad we did what we did uh, so that we could see the Coronado area, the Gorgona area, and now El Valle to really give us a little bit better idea. We're gonna see Panama City tomorrow. We're going back into the city. So that's been a little recap of our trip. Oh, and I went zip lining yesterday. So that was amazing. Um, my driver, um, that our driver that was bringing us to El Valle happened to mention something about zip lining. I'm like this little kid, zip lining, zip lining, where, where? And so Patty took us there yesterday. So I had a great experience there. So just a wonderful, you, a wonderful experience. You asked me, you know, like, do you want to go? I'm doing zip lining tomorrow. Do you want to go with me? And I just wrote back, Nope. Yes. <laughs> yes. But then when I got up there and saw, I was like, I could do this. This looks pretty doable. You know, it's not like, I mean, you said there were some spots that were really high. But yes. The, it was, a can, it said Canopy Adventures. Yeah. And there were guides, there's a guy that go, goes, that went before me. And there's a guy that go, guide that goes behind me. So I'm sandwiched in between, but all safely. Um, but, but so... It's just done very, very well. And yes, there's climbing. My quads are <laughs> are a little yelling today. It's like, what did you do? But um, the first, there's actually a series of six different zips. And so you zip, the first one is the highest. And could not look down on that one. That was, a, that was really high. The second <laughs> is the fastest. And then the third, the fourth, and you see different things. And the fifth zip has this gorgeous waterfall, which I'm sure Patty will share, but just a wonderful adventure. And it was on my bucket list. And so and you saw a sloth. 
And right? I saw a sloth. So it was way up. The guys are pointing out whatever they can as we're walking from one, the end of one zip line to the beginning of another. And so they're looking up in the trees and it's like, there's a sloth. He was pretty high up, but I got to see one. How many times have you traveled internationally? This was the first time internationally. <laughs> so it's like this big, this big thing for us. Um, we've spent a lot of time working and raising kids and, and now it was time to break out of the box and to really experience that. And so with our research and, and I knew Patty, I, I met Patty in a class like three years ago perhaps. Yeah, yeah. And so we've kept in contact because she said she lived in Panama and I said, we're researching Panama. <laughs> and we were talking about that yesterday and it's like, so when did we first meet? Patty and I haven't met. I we've... know, I totally missed that part. <laughs> I thought we must've met at one of the IP yeah. conferences. So, I mean, Zoom has that advantage yeah, because yeah. it seems like you've met. But um, so, you know, we kept in contact and I followed Patty online. And so then, of course, when it came down to here, she was definitely someone I wanted to meet. And then with her casita. So it all, no, this was a first, first traveling internationally and first time in Panama, first time zip lining to that degree. I'd done little baby zips um but so what a what a wonderful experience and then you had um you have jackie lang's um guide book right yes yes and you said that that's been a really good resource yes so jackie lang um with panama relocation tours i'd been following her i guess in my research for mm. different countries on possibilities for relocating I was looking at Mexico, looking at Colombia, maybe Portugal, but Panama kept coming up on the list. And so then I ran across the Panama relocation tour and they do have a week long tour. I think it's um, six, six nights, seven days or the other way around, seven nights, six days. <laughs> and so they will take you all over Panama. But the dates that they had available and when we wanted to go, it didn't, it didn't coincide. So we took private tours and we took um, a private tour of the Coronado and, and Nueva Gorgona area and the beach areas. And then we took a tour of El Valle and then just had other drivers um, that can take us from here to there and give us a little bit more information. And so because we weren't going to go on the full tour though, Jackie Lang does have an online guide that you can purchase and she has a wealth of information in that guide. And so that really helped. I mean, I was reading that guide to learn more, not just for how to prepare for this trip, but also like, okay, so what questions do I want to ask yeah. when I'm actually there? Because I'm reading them in the guide. And she also has a Facebook group for members that's extremely helpful. But that guide was very, very helpful in getting prepared for a move. Um, but then also on, okay, what do I want to ask people already here and that I can have face-to-face -face conversations with? So that was ex that's been extremely helpful. And you said that you have a notebook that you're keeping track of everything. Yes. And I think that's really smart because there's so much that comes up. You know, it's this whole new experience. Right. And you have two dogs that you're going to be yes. moving. Yes. And I know that that's a big deal to research yes. and figure all that out. Yes. I mean, yeah. everybody on the PRT group is saying the hardest part. I mean, even though you uproot from one country to another, the hardest part is still moving your pets because there are requirements for vaccines and time frames, short time frames that you have to get various documents one place or the other and it is a very short time frame so you know we met we actually met someone at breakfast uh, the other day when we were in Gorgona and they happened to be from Glendale Arizona which is just two miles from us back <laughs> in Arizona and so they had their little dog and so we opened up a conversation and so we were asking them too about 
how did you get her here? Yeah. And so just talking to people, the guide is invaluable, but actually having boots on the ground, which is recommended over and over and over again um, by Panama Relocation Tours. And Patty had also, you know, it's like, you'll find when you're here, you know, to just ask the different questions. But the notebook, even when I'm going through different things, whether it's the guide or whether it's somebody that asked a question on the Facebook group, mm -hmm. there's, there's thousands of questions there. And there are, oh, I don't know how many different categories of resources with the online guide. But it's like, okay, instead of wondering where did I find that, and I can easily go back to that, but to just make a note in my notebook and then the questions. And so to be able to have that there, and I plan on redoing those in some semblance of a more organized manner, but still, it's just really, really good. To pull out my orange notebook and be able to just jot down that, so. What about, so I think it's pretty courageous that it's your first international trip and you've already decided, like, yeah, we're gonna move to Panama. And so, what have you thought about if you move here and absolutely hate it, right? Like, have you thought about what's the plan C, D, yep. E? Yep. The one thing about Panama that I had researched even before I, I got here and, and started seeing the country is that Panama has so many different elevations mm -hmm. and different cities and towns. So if we ended up in El Valle and decided we didn't want this much rain, there are other places that are on the Azura Peninsula that don't get as much rain. So our plan was really, let's just explore. Mm -hmm. Let's just explore and have an adventure doing it. So we can try, I mean, it's been told to us numerous times, always rent before yeah. you buy. And I can see that that's just wise advice. And Patty too was sharing where she all lived um, before she bought this house and then remodeled it. But there are just so many different places to experience. And no place is probably perfect, but everyone has their own little, oh wow, that was really cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit too hot or humid, but then there's this. So our plan is like, come down and find a place to live temporarily, a few months, mm -hmm. to do some exploring, and then see, oh, we hadn't checked out this little community on our trip before, <laughs> let's just check into that. And also when you get to meet people here, I mean, because we've met people, well, we met them a couple from Glendale and they actually gave us a tour of their house. <laughs> and so we got to see what that was like in that little um, community. And then we're at Patty's, we've been able to see what condo, what condos are like. And so there's just options. And as long as you can come in with the mindset of, this is an adventure and and let's just see what this is like so if we don't like this you know and i guess our absolute worst <laughs> that, okay if that doesn't work that doesn't work that doesn't work we've got several many places right. that that we could check out but if the worst case scenario we can go back to the united states yeah so i mean that's not on the top of our list but that is just hey we can always do that. So it's not, I'm just not afraid. I mean, even with, I had friends asking me, aren't you afraid of going down there? And it's like, okay, it's not really a third world country. Panama is pretty developed. And especially in the areas where we're staying. And then I knew Patty. And so it, it's not like we're going down blind. We don't speak Spanish yet. That is on the agenda but we knew we would be with people that could speak the language and that were not like plunked down in the middle of nowhere, knowing no one, knowing, not knowing the language. It's, it, yes, we had, we had some other people to help and that I think is key too. But this is a very friendly place and especially El Valle. I mean, wow, what a community. So, um, 
but just to be able to explore. And you know, I guess one thing is this is really something I'm really glad that we did. I hadn't traveled internationally, so it's like, okay, I chose a place that I felt, okay, this is pretty safe. Yeah. And, and we knew a few people because I had talked online to several people also as well. And, and so it's like, oh, if you're over here, we can have lunch. And I've never met them, but, but <laughs> from a connection on Facebook or online. And so just life is short. Life is so short. And to be able to just experience something different, something outside uh, my comfort zone. And I mean, even zip lining, um, after I signed up for the long one, it was like, oh, okay. Um, but you know, after it took off, it was like, okay, just a couple seconds there of like a little fear, a adrenaline rush. And then it was like, oh my gosh, look at what's around me. The gorgeous, you know, tr trees and the jungle and the river and then the waterfall and just the experience of just doing something I've never done before. And, you know, I think that's really what life is all about. And I waited till later to really experience that, but just, oh, this has been so, so good. That's a perfect metaphor, actually. Like, if you hadn't moved past that little bit of, you know, fear to get on that first line of the zip line, and that's really a great metaphor for moving to Panama yes. or just taking a risk in life, yes. you know? Yes. So it sounds like, you know, for anyone listening, mindset and being willing to be courageous and take a risk yeah. is probably highly yes. recommended. Yes. Right? You I know, mean, you yes. have to equip yourself with that in order to to do something new. Right. You right. Know? And I stayed safe. I played it safe. I worked hard and... You know, just followed all the rules and, and, you know, we've experienced some loss, some deep loss in the last couple of years. And it just was something that, again, proved life is so short and in the blink of an eye, um, here you are. And it's time. It's like, well, how much more time am I going to stay safe and just, yeah. okay, I'm in my little bubble. But then I never would have experienced Panama. Yeah. And the beauty and the people and the plants and the sloths <laughs> and <laughs> zip lines. And so, you know, and I really feel in life, there's probably very few things that can't be undone mm -hmm. or yeah, maybe you lose some money or maybe you lose a little bit of time, but by trying things, what more can open up? Mm -hmm. What other, it's like, wow, I didn't even know this existed. And I just really feel that it's like, wow, just go for it and experience. And whether that's a baby step outside your comfort zone or whether it's moving, the couple that we met, actually, they had traveled around the world um, in various places, but they had never been to Panama. And they moved here, bought a house without having seen Panama before they did this. Now that, I don't know that I would recommend, but they said, we've never looked back. I think they had done enough of, to know what they, what yeah, they liked yeah. and what they didn't like. So not really recommending that. Um, but then again, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, they didn't like it. Okay, they move and they rent out their house or whatever. Yeah. So it, it's just like, wow. And hearing the different experiences that people have done. And it's like, wow, we got a lot of making up to do here, you know? <laughs> so um, just really, really happy that we took a bold move yeah. and just said, yes, we're doing this. And I think that is actually kind of interesting. Like the, the expats that are here, they're all people who took risks. Yes. You know, it's all people who are doing something different, you know, getting out of that box, leaving their home country. Yes. And so that's kind of cool too. It's like a little more um, adventuresome possibly, right. or, right. you know, expanded mindset, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, and I, I do think from the United States, I mean, we have our set views and our set routines mm. and 
when you, I mean, obviously I'm not speaking from extensive experience, but just in the, the, the week long trip, the 10 day trip, different cultures have different ways of doing things. And it's good to experience, oh, okay, well, that's just the Panamanian way. I mean, and it's nothing bad, it's just a little bit different. And that's good, I think, to just break out of a routine that I've had for decades and decades. It's yeah. like, okay, well, let me try this. And, um, oh, there's buses that run everywhere here, and that's really cool. So it is just, it's a great experience. And I think for your soul <laughs> and just the, the weather and just everything that's blooming and <laughs> growing and the animals and the insects and everything else. It's just, it's just new. Yeah. And that's good. That's good. Thank you so much for chatting. Thank you. Next Thank time you. I will go zip lining with okay. you. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's incentive to come back, right? Thanks everybody. <laughs>